This problem has to do with environmental engineering. Uh, let's read the problem carefully and identify the basic events. So uh, let's define A as the process A ran during the day. And likewise, we can define B, that the process B ran during the day, and likewise for C and D. There's another important event, uh, H, which is uh, harmful effluents were produced. So if we now interpret the probability numbers, uh, we would assign in this way uh, the probabilities of A, B, C, and D are respectively 0 0.1, 0 0.5, 0 0.3, and again 0.1. And this would be our partition. So our partition is A, B, C, D. And one way to make sure that you got the partition right is the their each uh, event's probability in that partition should add up to 1. And that's what uh, you see is happening here. The next four are conditional events. So H given A, H given B, H given C, and H given D. And those probabilities are also uh, stated. So now we can apply the theorem of total probability and find the unconditional probability of H. And that turns out to be 0 0.17 once you do the arithmetic. And uh, what's been asked for is there'll be no discharge uh, so uh, P of H bar which is 0 0.83. Now the second part of the question uh, asks that if harmful effects, uh, harmful effluents have been produced, what is the probability that process C was operating? Uh, so let's interpret the question in terms of probability. So it's P of C given H. So now H becomes the conditioning event. And now we can invoke Bayes' theorem and P of C given H would be P of C multiplied by a ratio which is P of H given C over P of H. And we just found out P of H and the other two probabilities we already know they are given. So if you do the numbers it comes down to uh, 0 0.8. 353 that given uh, harmful effluents have been detected uh, it was process C that produced it has a probability of 35.3 percent.